Hello guys, welcome to our course on data serialization and remote procedure calls. So let us discuss the roadmap of this course. So you can see that the course has been divided into six major parts. The first part involves the data serialization concepts. So it is a technique to reform the data that is flattening of the data before sending it over the network. So in module 1 you will learn the concepts regarding data serialization and data deserialization. Before sending the data over the network you need to perform the data serialization. In module 2 we will learn about a new data structure called streams. This data structure will allow you to facilitate serialization of data in a very easy and handy way. The third module is about implementing the data serialization and data deserialization techniques in C. So in module 3 you will be actually writing a code to serialize and deserialize the application data. Now module 3 is the foundation for module 4, module 5 and module 6. In module 4 you will learn about how to implement remote procedure calls. We will go into develop remote procedure calls from absolute scratch. Then module 5 is regarding how to synchronize the application state. In module 5 you will learn how to clone the application memory state from the local machine to a remote machine. Application state is defined as the set of all internal data structures kept in the heap memory of the application. And then finally we have a module 6 which is called checkpointing. In this module you will learn how to save and restore the application memory state to and from the persistent disk. So module 3 of this course is the foundation for module 4, 5 and 6. So beware that there will be a lot of coding and make sure that you are good in C. In this course you will learn that how data is treated and manipulated as a stream of bytes. This course will help you understand the four major concepts of system programming. The first is the data serialization and data deserialization. Second is the remote procedure calls and application state synchronization along with checkpointing. Please note that we will going to build everything in this course from absolute scratch. We will not going to use any third party libraries or tools at all. You will build everything right from the beginning starting from hash include stdio.h. So good luck guys.